Hi, Mana family. Professor Howard Hendricks of Dallas Seminary once estimated that there are about 100 leaders profiled in the Bible. And he estimated that two-thirds of them, 67%, did not finish their life well. That's staggering. 67 out of 100 leaders in the Bible flunked out. King Asa of Judah is an example of one who began well and who finished extremely poorly. He must have forgotten Yogi Berra's proverb, it ain't over till it's over. You know, he began very, very well. He took the king kingdom at a very young age, and the first 10 years of his reign, he followed the Lord, he eradicated idols, he called Judah's heart back to worship the Lord, and the Lord gave him rest on every side. No invasions, peaceful existence. And King Asa was very prudent. He built fortified cities during that 10-year period in, in preparation for a potential invasion, and sure enough, 10 years into his reign, he was invaded, Judah was invaded by a million man army from Ethiopia, just south of Egypt. And every problem that you and I face is a test of our faith. And it reveals who we trust. And Asa and Judah came to the Lord and said, Lord, we obviously are no match for this army. We look to you. We ask you to save us that your name might be made great and vindicated. And God gave them a great, great victory. And on the way back to Jerusalem, a prophet of the Lord named Azariah met them. And he said to them in 2 Chronicles 15, verse 2, Listen to me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with you when you are with him. And if you seek him, he will let you find him. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Now that's a conditional promise. If you do this, I will do that. And, and Asa and King Judah took that very seriously. And they got rid of more idols. They restored the temple sacrifice, uncovered the altar, uh, and really followed the Lord for a number of years. God gave them 25 more years of peace. And in year 36 of King Asa's reign, Judah was invaded by northern Israel, fellow Jews, and they had another faith crisis. Every problem in our lives is an opportunity to trust the Lord, and Asa and Judah failed that test. Asa went into the temple and stole gold and silver out of God's temple that had been dedicated to the Lord and used it to bribe King Aram, uh, the kingdom of Aram next door, to invade Israel and take the pressure off Judah. And politically, it worked. Israel backed off. But spiritually, it was a disaster because Asa had put his trust in humans instead of the Lord. He trusted gold now more than God. God sent Hanai the prophet to him, and Hanai the prophet said, God wanted to use you to destroy Aram, and you have made peace with God's enemies. From now on, you're going to have war and not peace. Now, when the Lord rebukes us, we have an opportunity either to repent or to rebel. Unfortunately, King Asa chose to rebel. He imprisoned Hanai, and he oppressed a bunch of the people at the same time. So he rebelled against the Lord and refused to listen. God gave him one more chance. Three years later, he had a severe disease in his feet and he could have turned to the Lord, but he chose to trust in the physicians and in the 41st year of his reign, he died. He began extremely well and then did extremely poorly because he failed to guard his heart. And the solution to finish well is simple. Spend time every day with the Lord, read his word, do what it says, Ask God for guidance and then follow it. Stay in fellowship with God's people. We know how to finish well. It's just every day remembering we're one day closer to heaven when you keep your eye on Jesus and fix your eye on the finish line, you'll finish the race of life well. Remember, God designed us to do life together.